Unit 14. The biggest and the best. In this unit, we're going to have different words about geography. 1. Word power. Geography. Label the picture with words from the list, then compare with the partner. Here you have a picture. Yeah. And we try to label it. Label the picture here. You write these words from A to L in the picture. The words A, beach, desert, forest, forest, land that has a lot of trees, hell, hell, less than 1,000 meters, hell, island, land, surrounded by water, lake, lake, like Nasser Lake, mountain, you know mountain is higher than hell, mountain is higher than hell, mountain is more than 1000 meters high, ocean, ocean, Atlantic Ocean, British Atlantic Ocean, river, river like the Nile, the Mississippi, the Amazon River, the Nile River, Valley, Valley, Volcano, Volcano, Valley, a piece of land between mountains, Volcano, Volcano, in Volcano you have fire, a lot of fire of the Volcano, Waterfall, the water occurring the falls is occurring when the water goes from up to down, upside down. Now in this picture, can we label these words around here? A. Number A. Beach. This is beach. Beach, you must have water, like ocean or sea. So A, beach. B, desert. Where is the desert in this picture? Desert. Desert. B, desert. Sandy place, a sandy place. A dry sandy place. C, forest. What's forest? A piece of land that has lots of trees, trees, so C, this is forest, C, forest, a piece of land that has lots of trees, D, hell, hell, less than 1000 meters high, hell, where is the hell, hell, D, this is a hell, D, E, Island, island, land, water is around it, land which is surrounded by water, so this is an island, this is number E, E, island, F, lake, this is F, F, lake, the island is in the lake. Lake such as Nasser Lake. Nasser Lake. Ismailia Lake. Mountain. Mountain. This is a hell. This is a mountain. Mountain. G. Mountain. G. This is G. Mountain. Higher. A mountain is higher than a hell. Mountain. Ocean, H, H, ocean, ocean, where is the ocean? This is beach, A, but this is H, H, ocean, H, ocean. River, 
River? What is the river? This is a river. I. River. I. River. Valley. Valley. Land between mountains. This is J. J. Valley. J. Valley. Valley. J. K. Volcano. Volcano. K. Volcano. A mountain. It has a hole on top. And fire. Lava. And smoke. Get out of the mountain. So this is lava. Lava. Fire. Mountain. So this is mountain. Volcano. Hell. Hell. Volcano. Mountain. Waterfall. This is number L. This is waterfalls. Niagara waterfalls. Example. Niagara waterfalls. Again the answers. A. B. C. D. E. E. This is E. The island. E. F. Like F. G. G. Mountain. G. H. Ocean. H. Ocean. I. River. I. A river. Valley. J. J. Valley. Valley. Volcano. K. K. Volcano. L. L. Waterfall. Waterfall. L. This is L. Waterfall. Number B. Per work. What other geography words can you think of? Do you see any of them in the picture? Other geography words. We have different geography words. Such as coast, north coast, forest, tropical forest, rainy forest, the Suez Canal, sea, the Red Sea, oasis, o canyon, canyon like valley, but valley is bigger, canyon smaller, canyon, delta, delta, in Egypt we have Upper Egypt and the Delta. Delta is piece of land. The river divides it. In Egypt here, the Nile divides the land, the Delta, by Dumyat branch and Rashid branch. Delta. Bay. Bay. B-A-Y. Like Nama Bay. Gulf. The Gulf. The Gulf, like uh, the countries of the Gulf area, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, all of these countries are on the Gulf, the Gulf, the Persian Gulf, the Persian Gulf, the High Dam, the High Dam in Egypt. So for number B, we will give you different words with their pictures. Unit 14, the biggest and the best. The biggest and the best, interchange one, unit 14, third edition. Exercise one, part B. What other geography words can you think of? Plain, this is plain.
flatland, plain. Coast, coast. This is coast. Area next to the beach. This is shore. This is the coast. In Egypt, we have the north coast. This is the north coast. The north coast. The north coast on the Mediterranean Sea. The Suez Canal. Canal. The Suez Canal. This is the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal. Sea. The Red Sea. So this is the Red Sea. The Red Sea in Egypt. It's between Egypt. It's between Egypt and Saudi Arabia. It's a piece of land in the desert, but you have life in this land. A lot of people live there. It has trees. It has trees. Water. Fountains of water. Green area in the middle of the desert area. Siwa oasis. In Siwa, there are there are fountains for medical therapy. If you are sick, you can travel to Siwa. A canyon, a canyon, area between two mountains. An area between two mountains. Delta. This is the River Nile, and here we have the Delta. This is the Delta. Delta. Area of land. The river divides it. So the river divides Delta by Rashid branch and Umayyad branch. And here, this is the Delta. North coast. This area, the north coast. Nasser Lake, Nasser Lake, Lake in Egypt we have Nasser Lake. Waterfall, waterfall. This is the waterfall. C. Try to think of famous examples for each item in part A. So in part A here, for every word, tell me an example. Beach. Miami Beach, Rommel Beach and Marsa Matruh, Desert, Eastern Desert, the Western Desert, the Great Desert, the Great Desert, Forest, Rainy Forest, Tropical Forest, Hell, Hell less than 1000 meter, the Great Hell in Egypt, Island, Island, name of island, hmm. search island, this means land, piece of land, the water around it, it around it. Island, Tehran Island, Lake, Nasser Lake, Ismailia Lake, Mountain, St. Catherine Mountain. St. Catherine Mountain Ocean Atlantic Ocean Pacific Ocean Indian Ocean River The Nile The Mississippi The Amazon Valley The Nile Valley Volcano. This is a volcano. Waterfall. Niagara Waterfalls in the USA. Niagara Waterfalls. Exercise number two.
Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? Hmm. People. Where are they? They are in a restaurant. Restaurant. This is a chef. And what's the chef doing? The chef is serving food. Yes, the chef. Waiters. We have also waiter. Maybe he's a chef or waiter. People are eating. They're eating. They're drinking. What about those two young people? The young man is reading, he's reading in a newspaper, he's reading what? Look here, the young lady is thinking, she's thinking, she's thinking about a map. This is a map. Bogota, Quito, La Paz. Names, names of cities. Are they in Africa? Europe, North America? No, they're in South America. South America. The man is reading, and the young lady is thinking. Conversation. Which is larger? Listen and practice. In this exercise, let's listen first, okay, and then. We're going to answer the questions. Unit 14. The biggest and the best. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. Which is larger? Part A. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Conversation. Which is larger? Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Here is a geography quiz in the paper. Quiz, short test. A small test, short test. Paper. Newspaper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Questions. Which questions? Questions. Questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger? China or Canada? Wendy, I know. Canada is larger than China. Of course, Canada is larger in what? surface the surface of land but china is larger in the number of people number of people china surface canada oh next what's the longest river in the americas in the americas here it means north america and south america north america and south america americas the two americas Mm, I think it's the Mississippi, the Mississippi, the Mississippi River in the USA. Here is a hard one, hard one, hard, difficult, a difficult question. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? Crowded, it has a lot of people. I'm not sure, I think Monaco is more crowded, maybe Monaco Monaco city is more crowded. Okay, 
One more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? The highest means higher from the sea level. High from the sea level. Oh, that city. Bogota is the highest. So, here we ask questions and we answer as Wendy did, but some answers are wrong. Take care. That it. First question, what are Wendy and Mike talking about? Mike and Wendy are talking about a geography quiz. Does Wendy like geography? Yes, she loves geography. Yes, she does. She loves geography. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Canada is larger than China. What's the longest river in the Americas? The longest river in the Americas is the Mississippi, as Wendy said. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? Wendy thinks that Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. Which South American capital city is the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Wendy said Bogota is the highest. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Wendy get right and how many questions did Wendy get wrong? Listen, please correct the wrong information. Page 93, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Wendy get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question, which is larger, China or Canada? You said, Canada. And you're right. Both are large, but Canada is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the Americas? You said the Mississippi. Sorry, no, it's the Amazon. Oh, of course. This next question I didn't know. Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. So I got it right? I just guessed. And finally, you said that Bogota is the highest capital city in South America. Yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere. Sorry, Wendy, but you're wrong. La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. Really? Gee... I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. Bart B. How many questions did Wendy get right? Wendy, Wendy got two questions right and two questions wrong. Question number one. Which is larger? Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Correct. Question number two. What's the longest river in the Americas? Wendy is the Mississippi. Wrong answer. The Amazon. The Amazon is the longest river in the Americas. Question number three. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? Correct. Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. Question number four. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Wendy, Bogota is the highest. Wrong answer. La, La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. Two questions are wrong and two questions are right. Number three. Grammar focus. Question number three. Grammar focus. Let's start to listen. Page 93, exercise 3, 
Grammar focus. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Comparisons with adjectives. In this lesson. We will have comparison and superlative. You compare one and one, and you compare comparison between one and group. One and two, three, four, five. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. So here we compare Canada and China. China and Canada. But Canada is larger than China in the surface. Which city has the largest population? Population, the number of people. Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. So we have here you compare between one and the group. Tokyo and Mexico City and Sao Paulo. So we have three cities. Tokyo, Mexico City, and Sao Paulo. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. So you compare between Mount Fuji, Mount, mountain, and all other mountains all over the world. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Comparative, comparison between one and one. So you make a comparison between two. Superlative, one and two, three, four, five. One and group. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, the, the adjective ends with Y. And there is a consonant before the Y sound, the Y. So it's not a vowel. Vowels, A, E, I, O, U. But here we have R. Dry, drier, the driest. Dry, drier than the driest. Y becomes I, and we add ER. Drier, driest, I E S T. So we delete Y, we omit Y, we remove Y, and we put I E R or I E S T. Big, bigger, the biggest. Big, bigger, double G. The biggest, double G, E, S, T. Here, there is vowel before the last letter. The last letter is G. And before the G, we have I. We have a vowel. Vowel, A, E, I, O, U. So we double the last letter. Big, bigger the biggest famous more famous the most famous famous let's count one two three four five six letters most of time we use more and most with adjective that have with adjectives that have more than six letters six letters and more six seven eight nine ten this is number one 
Number two, in this adjective, you will find two vowels, two separate vowels, at least, at least two separate vowels, like fe, this is a, mas, and we, here we have o, and they are separate, they are not next to each other. Famous, a and o, u, s, okay. Beautiful, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful, beautiful. You have here vowels, one, two, three, four, five vowels. Yes, so this adjective has a lot of vowels. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Irregular adjectives do not follow the rule. An adjective good should be what? Gooder, er, goodest, but no. Here in the adjective good, better, the best. Better, t soft d, and r, er, better the best bad worse the worst bad worse than the worst again we're going to explain this in this powerpoint presentation Again, guys and welcome back to my English brain today we're talking about comparative adjectives now it's time for the grammar and today we are talking about adjectives remember adjectives describe things for example this car is big big is a normal adjective to describe the car when we are comparing two things, for example, car number one and car number two, we use comparative adjectives. For example, this car is bigger than this car. Bigger is a comparative adjective. It's comparing this car and this car. Another example. The truck is expensive. Again, this is a normal adjective to describe the truck. But when we are comparing two things, again, we use the comparison adjective and we say the truck is more expensive than the car. Again, more expensive is the comparative adjective. So, we have two forms of the comparative adjectives. When we have an adjective with one syllable, we put ER on the end of the adjective to make the comparison. For example, big, big, big. Big is one syllable. So, we put ER on the end of the adjective and now we have the comparative adjective bigger bigger but when we have two or more syllables for example expensive expensive we have three syllables so we use the word more to make the adjective a comparative adjective and the comparison is more expensive. Now we have an exception and the exception is with adjectives like this one pretty 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 has two syllables but it also has a Y ending it finishes it ends with Y and with all adjectives that finish or end in Y, we take away the Y and we add I-E-R. I-E-R on the end to make the comparative. So the comparative adjective is prettier. 
prettier. Remember, for one syllable, we use the adjective and er, bigger, but for y ending adjectives, we use i-e-r. For example, prettier, the comparative with a y ending. To review, remember, with the comparative adjectives, one syllable or y ending, we use er or i-e-r. For example, bigger and prettier. With two or more syllables, we use more and the adjective. For example, more expensive. So, let's practice. The adjective, small, one syllable, so the comparative adjective is smaller, smaller, or the adjective boring, boring. It has two syllables, boring, so the comparative adjective is more boring, or this one, lazy, lazy. Well, we have the Y ending, so the comparative adjective is lazier. We take away the Y and we use I, E, R. Lazier is the comparative adjective. Or one more, for example, exciting. Exciting. Exciting has three syllables, so the comparative adjective is more exciting. Now we have some comparative adjectives that are irregulars. For example, some important ones are good, bad, and fun. These are all one syllable, good, bad, fun. But we do not use er for these comparative adjectives. No, for good, the irregular comparative adjective is better. The comparative is better, better. The comparative for bad is worse, worse. And the comparative for fun, we say more fun. So remember these irregulars, better, worse, and more fun. The other important part to know about comparatives is with less, the opposite of more. For example, the car is less expensive than the truck, and this means that the truck is more expensive than the car. So, you can use less to compare when something is less of an adjective. For example, the car is less expensive than the truck. Another important thing to think about for the comparatives is the word than. Than. For example, the car is smaller than the truck. We use the word than when we talk about one thing compared to another thing. For example, the car is smaller than the truck. But if we only use one thing, for example, the car is smaller, then we do not need to use the word than. Than is only when we talk about one thing and compare it to the other thing. Very good. Why do you use superlative? Usage of superlative, we use superlatives to compare somebody or something with the whole group. Example, she is the tallest in the class. It's the most expensive hotel 
in the world. The question is, how can we make this comparison? What is the rule? To make comparative adjectives, you can have what? Small adjective. Three, four, five, six letters. So number one, you can count the letters. Three, four, five, six. Most of time, less than six letters. The country is safe. And then you put what? E-R. I have here another E. And then so we put only R. The country is safer. Safer than the city. So here we have small adjective. E-R. Then. The city is more expensive than the country. The country here means the countryside, villages. So how can I form this more big adjective? What mean big adjective? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen letters. A lot of letters. Plus than. Another thing here. With a small adjective, will have only one vowel. Okay? The big adjective, two vowels in separate parts. Like expensive. E, vowel, E, I. Three vowels here. The four is silent. But safer, safe. S, A, F, and E is silent. So have only one vowel. The superlative adjective. The superlative adjectives right there. Small adjective. Three, four, five, six letters. Plus EST. Ahmed is the tallest in the class. Ahmed is the tallest student in the class. The most. Plus big adjective. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten letters, very big adjective, more than six letters. She's the most beautiful girl, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine letters. This is a big adjective. We have also here vowels, E, A, U, B, U. Here we have T, I, and U. So I have vowels here. Another vowel I, a third area we have full U. So here we have more than two vowels. This is why I use the most. The most interesting movie is Ala Babil Wazir. The most exciting play is Madrastin Musharbin. So Madrastin Musharbin is the most exciting play. Irregular adjective. Some adjectives are irregular. They don't follow the rule. We don't put er or est. Good. I should say gooder and goodest. But no. Good. Better than. Better than. The best. Bad. Worse than. The worst. Far. Further than. The farthest. Again. Good, better, better than, the best. Bad, worse than, the worst. Far, farther than, the farthest. If the adjective ends with Y, busy, Y, noisy, dry. We do what? Busy, busier, I-E-R. We cross Y and then we add E-R, busier. Busier than the busiest, I-E-S-T. Noisy, noisier, I-E-R. Noisier, noisiest. Dry, drier than the driest. These are adjectives that ends in Y. So, in case of having an adjective that ends in Y, 
you will change y into i will change the y into i and we'll put er or est what about if the adjective ends with a consonant and there is vowel before it like beg before the last letter i hot o wet e beg Bigger than the biggest, hot, hotter than the hottest, wet, wetter than the wettest. So here we double, double the last letter, like double G, bigger, hotter, double T, wetter, double T, biggest. Double G, hottest, double T, wettest, double T. Question number three. Grammar Focus Part A Complete questions 1 to 4 with comparatives and questions 5 to 8 with superlatives then ask and answer the questions In this exercise from, exer from number 1 to number 4 use ER then adjective ER then or more adjective then From 5 to 8 superlative Comparison between one and group. Comparison between one and group. So, in the second part of the exercise, we'll make a comparison between one and group. So, you will put the adjective, E-S-T, or the most plus adjective. One minute, try to answer alone. 1. Which country is Monaco or Vatican City? Small. Small? Smaller. Which country is smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Smaller. 1. Smaller. 2. Which waterfall is Niagara Falls? Hill Falls. High? ER. Higher. Which waterfall is higher? Niagara Falls or or Angel Falls which waterfall is higher Niagara Falls or Angel Falls 3 which city is Hong Kong or Cairo crowded 3 which city is more crowded more crowded Hong Kong or Cairo Number three, more crowded. Four, which lake is? Which lake is the Capsian Sea or Lake Superior? Which lake is larger? The Capsian Sea or Lake Superior. Five, which is Mount? Which is which is the highest? Which is the highest? Mount means mountain, like Mount. Av Everest Av this this is mountain Everest Mount Fuji mountain Fuji 6 what is river in the world the Nile or the Amazon what is what is the longest what is the longest river in the world the Nile or the Amazon 7 which city is Tokyo Moscow or Hong Kong which city is the most expensive? Which city is the most expensive? Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? So seven, the most expensive. Eight, what is ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? So here you make comparison between two, but you talk about the whole world. There's the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean. So what is the deepest ocean in the world? What is the deepest ocean in the world? 
What is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic? So number eight, the deepest. Number seven, the most expensive. Again, the answers. One, smaller. Two, higher. Three, more crowded. Four, larger. Five, the highest. Six, the longest. Seven, the most expensive. Eight, the deepest. B, class activity. Write four questions like those in part A about your country or other countries, then ask your questions around the class. So in number B here, you write a question, you make a question about your country, about Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates. Example, if you said, which city is more crowded, Cairo or Alex? Cairo is more crowded than Alex. Which country is larger? Egypt or Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is larger than Egypt. Saudi Arabia more than 2 million kilometers. Egypt 1 million kilometers. The surface of Egypt is 1 million kilometers. Which country has the biggest number of population? Egypt or Saudi Arabia? Egypt. Egypt has the biggest number of population. In the Arab world, Egypt has the biggest number in the population. Egypt is the country number one. Egypt is more crowded than Saudi Arabia. Egypt is more crowded than Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. Egypt is the most crowded country in the Arab world. Egypt is the most crowded country in the Arab world. What is the best city in Egypt? Marsa Matruh, Alexandria, or Sharm el Sheikh? Sharm el Sheikh is the best city in Egypt. Sharm el Sheikh is the best city in Egypt. Exercise number four, pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice, then practice the question in part A of exercise three again. So here in this question, we have questions of choice. You choose between two or three things. So we use or, A or B, A, B or C. So use like A or B or A, B or C. Listen. Page 94. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Listen again. Page 94. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in Part A of Exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, 
or Greece. In this exercise, in this exercise, which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? You have question of choice. You choose between A or B. So before or sound is up. After or sound is down. Bangkok or Beirut? Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Before or sound is up. After or sound is down. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? So sound here up, up, or down. Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Sound is up, sound is up, or sound is down. Before or sound is up. After or sound is down. Exercise number five. Speaking, our recommendations, recommendations, advice, pieces of advice, tips. Tips doesn't mean here to give tips, money. No, tips, pieces of advice. Here, group work. Imagine these people are planning to visit your country. Molly, Rod, and Teresa are visiting Egypt or Saudi Arabia. Okay. What would they enjoy doing? Agree on a recommendation for each person. For everyone, give them an advice. Give them a recommendation. Give a recommendation to everyone. Molly. So here, what would they enjoy doing? A green recommendation for each person. Molly. What does Molly like? I really like quiet places. Quiet, not noisy. Where I can relax. Hike. Hike to walk for a long time. And enjoy the views. And see different wonderful places. I can't stand big crowds. I don't like big crowds. When the place is crowded, I don't like this. I don't like to go in a place which is crowded and full of people. So, for Molly, Molly should go to because it has the best views in the country and it's very quiet. In Egypt, Molly should go to Sharm Sheikh because it has the best views in the country and it's very quiet. In Sharm Sheikh, Molly can relax. Molly can hike every day. Molly can walk on the beach. For a long time she can hike. Molly gonna enjoy the views in Sharm, in her gada. Rod. Mr. Rod, I love to eat in nice restaurants, go dancing, and stay out late at night. I don't like small towns. Mr. Rod doesn't like small towns. He loves to eat in restaurants, go dancing. Mr. Rod should go to, should go to Cairo. In Cairo, there are a lot of nice restaurants and nightclubs for going dancing or for dancing and nightclubs for dancing. He can stay out late at night because Cairo is a sleepless city. The people do not sleep in Cairo. 3. Tressa What about Tressa? My favorite activity is shopping. I love to buy gifts to take home. I don't like more than shopping malls. Teresa 
likes shopping. She loves to buy gifts, gifts, presents, souvenirs to take home. To take the souvenirs to her country. Teresa doesn't like modern shopping malls. She doesn't like to go for modern shopping malls like Mall of Arabia in Egypt, in Cairo, in 6th of October, Mall of Arabia, city center, Carrefour. So she doesn't like shopping in malls. Teresa should go to Khan al-Khalili because it has the best souvenirs in Egypt. In Khan al-Khalili you can buy wonderful gifts and souvenirs, wonderful antiques. And she, and she can take them home. In Khan al-Khalili you have great souvenirs and the prices are reasonable. Charm. Molly should go to Sharm el Sheikh because in Sharm el Sheikh you can go hiking, you can relax, you can have fun. Sharm el Sheikh is a beautiful city. It's on the Red Sea. Teresa. Teresa can go to Khan al Khalili. In Khan al Khalili in Cairo, in Egypt, she can buy different souvenirs, gifts, presents. We have wonderful antiques and souvenirs in Khan al Khalili. It's a great place for shopping and for buying wonderful souvenirs. Exercise number six. Three people are on a television game show. Listen and check through the correct answers. In this exercise, we will have different people and they, they have a game show. They will answer different questions and then you choose the correct answer, like the State of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal. Page 94. Exercise 6. Listening. Game show. Three people are on a TV game show. Listen and check the correct answers. Our contestants this evening are Jack, Susan, and Jonathan. And now, contestants, let's get right to our first question. Question number one. Which is the oldest, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? Jack? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. They built it in 1886. They didn't build the Eiffel Tower until 1889, and the Panama Canal until 1914. That's correct. Lesson again. Which is the oldest, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? Jack? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. They built it in 1886. They didn't build the Eiffel Tower until 1889 and the Panama Canal until 1914. That's correct. Question number two. Question number one. First of all, who are the contestants? The contestants are Jack, Jenison, and Susan. The first question, which one is the oldest, the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Tower, or the Panama Canal? The Statue of Liberty is the oldest. The Statue of Liberty was built in 1886, the Eiffel Tower 1889, and the Panama, and the Panama Canal was built in 1940. So the State of Liberty, 1886. Question number two. What is the tallest building?
building in the world? Is it Taipei 101, the Jinmao building in Shanghai, or the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur? Susan, the Taipei 101 building is the tallest. That's right. Question number two. What is the tallest building? Taipei 101, the Jan Mao building in Shanghai, the Petronius Tower in Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of Malaysia. The Taipei 101 is the highest, is the tallest. So the tallest building is Taipei 101. Question number three. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, or a pound of feathers? John. This question for you. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, a pound of feathers? Of course, you know. Gold, batter, batter like uh, Amira batter, Nakhlitin batter, Rawabi batter. We make batter from milk. Feathers, feathers, the bird is covered with feathers. So, which one is the heaviest? A pound, the word pound here doesn't mean Egyptian pound, no. Pound, a measure of wet. Like in one kilogram, you have three pounds, for example. So a pound is the measure of weight. So which is the heaviest? Can you answer? They all weigh the same. Yes. Question. They all weigh the same. They have the same weight. They are equal. Listen again to exercise number three. Shanghai or the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur. Susan, the Taipei 101 building is the tallest. That's right. Question number three. Which is the heaviest? A pound of gold, a pound of butter, or a pound of feathers? Jonathan. They all weigh the same. Yes. Question number four. Which country is the largest? The U.S., China, or Canada? Nobody knows? Does anybody want to guess? Jack. Uh, China is the largest. Nope, sorry. Oh, shoot. Jonathan. Canada is the largest. Correct. Question. Question number four. What is the largest country, the USA, China, or Canada? Canada is the largest country. Canada is the largest country in the surface, surface, not the number of people. Of course, China is the largest country in the number of people, in population. Question number five. Five. Which country has the largest population? India, Russia, or China? Susan, China is the largest. Very good. Which country has the largest population? Population, the number of people. India, Russia, or China? China has the largest population. China has the largest number of people. Question number six. Question number six. Which is the smallest? Australia, Argentina, or Brazil? Susan, Argentina is the smallest of the three. That's right. Okay, contestants, the winner! Which is the smallest? Australia, Argentina, or, or Brazil? 
Argentina is the smallest of the three.